We are just off of Northwest First in Norman right now. This is about maybe 50 yards south of Southgate Elementary, uh, which is uh, an area we're hearing there's a lot of damage. Right now I'm joined uh, by Chris Emery. Chris, uh, this is your home right behind here yes. with the roof completely gone, this garage awning uh, folded over. Uh, I understand you were home at the time. Just about 20 minutes ago, we heard from a mother who uh, threw her children into a closet as the roof was coming off of their home. We've made our way a little bit to the north now. We're about 100 yards or so from Southgate Elementary. I want to show you really quick before we go there, this siding that has literally just wrapped around this tree. Now you were telling me something came through the window? Yeah, I was coming out of the bathroom and a board came crashing through the window and hit me in the back and then I ducked down and the bathroom door came slamming behind me. You walk outside and you see this elementary school and the destruction. Uh, what goes through your head? Uh, I don't even know. You can't even, words can't explain it. But it's a, a very resilient community. And it's, it's just unbelievable that it's, that it's happened to them. Yeah, we are in a hallway right now inside Southgate Elementary. Let me step off camera so you can see. This is about as far as they'll let us because you can see uh, the hanging ceiling tiles, the blown out windows. It's too, just too dangerous to go back any further unless you have a hard hat. Good evening, Mike and Wendy. Crystal Thayer is a mother of two. As of July, she was an expectant mother of one more. But a T-bone car crash on the northwest side ended all of that. The baby dead and Thayer unable to work until October. Now, for the last month, she's been fighting for justice. I remember her hitting me, and once, I hit, once she hit me, I blacked out. This is the aftermath of Crystal Thayer's car, T-boned at 178th in May. The vehicle totaled her two kids in the back seat with scrapes and bruises but she was rushed to the hospital. I remember waking up and the first thing that I asked is, what was my baby's heartbeat? At the time, it was strong, but Thayer's internal injuries were too much. She broke her pelvis in three spots. It wasn't until a few days later. They pretty much told me that it wasn't a heartbeat. And so they just told me pretty much I would have to deliver him. Caden Rain was stillborn at 16 weeks, later buried in an Anadarko cemetery. Still, no charges have been filed. In fact, police tell Fox 25 they didn't know Caden was killed until we told them last week, more than a month after the accident. What, what has been done since, since you and I spoke is that uh, the uh, case was, assi was assigned to an investigator. At the time that, uh, that we received the information, we did not know about her losing her, her, her baby. 178th in May, police say it's an intersection known for accidents. We even found the piece of a fender while shooting video. But there are more questions in this case. Through our investigation, Fox 25 has learned not only was the driver using a stolen vehicle at the time, but they had an arrest warrant out for failing to appear in court two days prior. It's up to the officer's discretion whether we arrest the person or not. And that other driver is still free, not arrested at the time because she too was sent to the hospital and it was only a misdemeanor warrant. But take a look at the accident report who's at fault was never in question. You know, the other person was the cause of the accident and there may have been some negligence involved. Therefore, we're going to file charges. Now, the Oklahoma City Police Department says it's talking about policy changes, like following up on crash cases when investigators know a victim is pregnant. Would it be your opinion that the police department did anything wrong in this situation? Well, you know, if, and, and, you know our policy in here is that, that we don't give our opinion. I mean, I, my, my opinion doesn't matter. I can tell you this, though, is that uh, it, it could have been handled a little bit better. The state of Oklahoma is doing something now that I fought so hard, but in the beginning, I still feel like they failed me. At this time, Fox 25 is making the decision not to name the other driver in this case until they are charged. Police are still in the process of reconstructing that accident and expect charges to be filed next week. They could range from manslaughter to negligent homicide. We will continue to follow this story and keep you updated. In the studio, Bill Shamert, Fox 25 News. Good evening, Mike and Wendy. People are showing their support in a variety of ways. I want to show you at this memorial, which as Tom said, is constantly growing. You have signs, candles, 
teddy bears, crosses. But one Oklahoma State cowboy hopes to give therapy through song. Roy Cruz is a senior at Oklahoma State. Today, our hearts are broken. He wasn't here Saturday morning to witness the tragedy. Together we hold fast, strong as an oak. But so many of his friends were. Uh, he's like, yeah, we're okay, but I've never seen anything like this in my life. Dozens injured, four dead, including two-year-old Nash Lucas. I started tearing up because I was like, like that's someone's baby, that's someone's child. Like that's someone's son or daughter. And it's what he's seen by this community. When everything in life seems to go wrong. That inspired him to write Stillwater Strong. That resounds in me. And I want to make a song that, that other people can listen to and just really grab, grab onto. This zoology major taught himself to play the guitar. Resides in you. He wrote the song in one night. Our community has just been struck, like seemingly more than most. And now it's his hope. Still we stand through the fire and the smoke. Through faith and music that Stillwater Strong finds its way to those who need it most. Every time this community pulls together, no matter what tragedy it is, we'll, we'll be strong and be there for each other. Still we stand, still water strong. Now that was photojournalist Kenneth Curtis who helped put that story together. If you'd like to hear the full version, just head over to our website, okcfox.com. Reporting live in Stillwater, Bill Shammer, Fox 25 News. Mike and Wendy, these two guys I'm about to show you are the kind of people you really like to see good things happen to. Chris and Lance were pulled over for speeding yesterday, something they don't deny, but they didn't get a citation. Inside H&H &H Construction, the working man's life can be a grind. But that life's a little more fun when you have guys like Lance Harrell and Chris King working next to you. And we just lay into each this other pretty good. Post, right yeah. so. I would call him a thumping post, but he's more like a stump because he's so short. Monday, Lance and Chris were driving back to the shop when they saw the flashing blue and reds in the rear view mirror. I told them. Normal protocol. Where they can be seen. <laughs> we don't want no incidents. The only question, how much was the ticket going to be? I'm like, I'm sorry. I was like, I, I didn't even know I was speeding. No, he said you were going 51 in a 40. Yeah, and I he didn't. Said, no, this 45. He said, yes, it's 45 here. It's 40 back there. <laughs> so he dropped a little knowledge on me. A video Chris posted to his Facebook page shows you what happened next. He had them his, 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 his license. Good, his insurance, valid. But there was no ticket, just a big surprise with the help of Sigma New Fraternity. He say, you two gentlemen, we want you to have a Merry Christmas. And you know what he did? He gave us a gift card. $50. When you think the police is bad, sometimes, sometimes, it work out for you. 75,000 plus views later, the two are on their way to being a viral sensation. In total, 50 gift cards were handed out yesterday, all from Sigma Nu and Norman PD. They made for a lot of smiles and even some hugs. And back at H&H, &H, Lance and Chris have a message to anyone who will listen. At the point that we are with, you know, human relations with law enforcement and people, I think it's good for them to see that, you know, a lot of these guys are out just trying to do good. As for Lance and Chris, they told me they will be paying it forward using their gift cards to buy food for the Oklahoma Regional Food Bank. And if you want to see that whole video, just head over to our website, OKCFox.com.